I have little doubt that this video will be met by scorn, and its assessment will be predicated largely on factionalism and tribalism and uh, of the very hero worship that I will be addressing. But uh, I'm used to that, and I'm assuming that the comment section in due time will be littered with, you're just jelly, you uh, NVO, yada, yada, yada. There's nothing to do with this. But I've noticed a rather disturbing trend that has of course, existed for time immemorial, but in particular in recent times centered around Jordan Peterson. Now, let me say at the outset, I generally like what Jordan Peterson does. I don't agree with everything he says, and that's kind of one of the main points of the video. Uh, but yeah, I think he does generally, good, generally speaking, good work. Uh, he addresses some important points, and he's reasonably consistent. Not always, and and once again, this is one of the issues. But I've noticed in, in recent months, probably the last half year or so, is probably the most accurate way of putting it, that a, a sort of cult of personality, almost a religious cult, has sprung up around Jordan Peterson. And you notice that this by channels that have come into existence solely based on Jordan Peterson. They'll have a, an icon of Jordan Peterson, but the channel won't be about him. It'll be about, you know, how I'm fixing myself in accordance with the the uh, dictates or the prescriptions of Jordan Peterson. Now, I'm not saying that the prescriptions of Jordan Peterson are universally bad or even bad at all. I mean, there's a lot to be said in uh, owning up to your your weaknesses and your failures and cleaning your room and taking charge of yourself. I mean, these can be valuable tools although they're not always ne necessarily predicated on objective truth, which I'll come to in a bit. But what I noticed around the time of the conversation with Sam Harris, and then subsequently his commentary on men being weasels, was that Jordan Peterson has begun to en enjoy a, a unqualified and I think undeserved uh, type of hero worship. Now, he himself might deny that, and he himself might... Uh, make the claim, and probably rightly so, that he never uh, claimed himself to be a hero or infallible. But people in our day and age are looking for something to believe in. And Jordan Peterson, along with his particular doctrinal beliefs, well, they sound plausible, and oftentimes they are, in fact, correct and, and plausible, and sometimes not entirely so. But it sounds great, you know, looking for allegorical truth and mythology and religion and all these things you can do with your life. And you know, basically, it's a type of religious feel-goodism, I think, and a coping mechanism he employs for himself. But the two main points I want to make here uh, are the following. One, the issue that arose with Sam Harris, where eff effectively uh, Peterson was saying, look, truth is whatever you want it to be. Um, and there is truth comes down to a matter of utility. So if something's really useful, it is, quote-unquote, more true uh, than, than facts that are not as useful. And that just didn't resonate with me. Now, I'm also critical of Sam Harris, and I plan on making a video shortly about him. A recent, uh, a recent cock-up that he had, I thought at least was a cock-up. But it just didn't compute with me and with other people who look at things in terms of, well, things are either true or they're not. Uh, the idea of some things being more true than others and uh, there's a kind of religious truth that's distinct from a truth that's associated with science, that's factual or, or information-based. I thought he was just, I just thought he was way off base and I think most objective people did as well. But the, you know, instead of actual criticisms of Sam Harris's point here that he was making, Instead, we saw just a, a tidal wave of, you know, Jordan Peterson wrecks Sam Harris. Sam Harris doesn't know anything. Sam Harris is an intellectual lightweight. Just ad hominems, but not addressing the arguments that Sam Harris made himself uh, or the very ideas that uh, Jordan Peterson was attempting to propagate and was offering us. And I thought that was very odd, or not so odd given human nature, but odd in the sense that, yeah, you're kind of missing the boat here or rather missing the forest for the trees, do you actually believe in Jordan's claim that, or Dr. Peterson's claim that uh, some truth is not based on objective fact or, or information, but rather on its utility value? He didn't say that so much exactly, but that's basically what he was saying. 
But there was no critique of that. It was just a kind of gotcha bitch uh, moment where various acolytes, one, some of Sam Harris said that you know Sam Harris destroyed Peterson, and then um, various acolytes of Peterson saying, I mean, Sam Harris is a cult of personality as well, and people you know, view him in uncritically, tend to view him uncritically in addition to Peterson. But so that's what it really came down to. And the second major mistake that Jordan Peterson made was his claim at the time that men are, these men are being weasels for not engaging with women and yada, 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 without engaging the reasons and the cause and effect involved in that. Now, later on, he sort of retracted it, but never really addressed the issues. And I think a lot of that had to do with the video that Karen Strawn made about it, where she essentially eviscerated him. He looked like an utter fool. And I'm not just saying, oh, you know, she pawned him. She did pawn him. He didn't He didn't have a leg to stand on. And he didn't really address that, understandably. He had no intellectual leg to stand on, as I said. But people were still defending his random claims that he made in that particular lecture. And yes, he sort of retracted it, but he didn't, he didn't say, I retracted it because of X. He didn't say, well, yes, the legal system, court system is totally fucked up. We don't want to uh, endorse this kind of behavior, and therefore we don't want to endorse the system. Instead, he just said, well, I shouldn't have said that. It was in poor taste, effectively. I'm paraphrasing. So what has happened in these past couple of months? Well, Jordan Peterson came to prominence, uh, as many of these uh, public intellectuals do. Sam Harris came to prominence in the the wake of 9-11, and he's been well-known ever since. Um, but he's done quite well for himself, and I don't begrudge him that. You know, he has a successful YouTube channel, and he's uh, he's essentially a, a cult of personality. People reverence him and worship him. Um, but there is always a danger in viewing anyone uncritically, because you lose the ability to critically evaluate the statements they make and their belief system. So, for example, I think Sam Harris is spot on on certain issues, and then, as you'll see in the forthcoming video, totally off on others. I respect the guy. I appreciate some of his work. Some of his other work I appreciate less. Peterson, I think, yeah, there's some value to be had in you know, interpreting myths and looking at allegory and for essentially giving yourself a pep talk, whether it's based on factual information or not, in your own capacity. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's some value in that. But then again, when he goes off the rail and talks about utilitarian truth and you know, some, tr- some truth is just basically truthier than others, um, or endorses uh, self-immolation for, for the purposes of, of personal growth, um, I guess his, based on what I understand, his idea is that you know, you're going to suffer anyway, so you might, you might as well suffer more. Um, I, it doesn't really seem well-founded, this line of reasoning, but the proof is in the pudding that the acolytes of Jordan Peterson will simply, they'll just endorse anything he says because they're not evaluating the statements themselves, the comments he, he is making. Rather, they're looking at the guy standing apart from the com- his commentary and standing apart from his ideas and saying, Jordan Peterson is the originator of these, these ideas, therefore he can do no wrong. Now, essentially, just as they commit ad hominem fallacies attacking other people who might um, stand in contravention to, to Jordan Peterson's ideas, they're committing a genetic fallacy. Because we saw these sort of criticisms of, of Robert Briefo, or Briefo uh, back in the day, years and years ago. Um, certain luminaries that sh- whose name shall not be named uh, are called upon said, well, you know, Robert Briefo was an avowed communist. Well, sure. Um, does that vitiate his observation regarding the, the human animal and how it operates? I don't think so. Um, but this is a big problem. And I, don't, I think even, I suspect that even Jordan Peterson would be alarmed by this, that his, his acolytes and, or followers or whatever you want to call them are just blindly placing faith in him and his statements without actually evaluating things. The crux of the issue is the following. You should never accept anyone's statement or commentary uncritically without evaluating it yourself. I have many private discussions with the late C.S. MGTOW where we don't necessarily agree on everything, and 
either I will correct him or he'll correct me if it's a point I'm mistaken on. That is what I would consider a mature conversation. And neither of us, of course, are perfect. And neither of us are always correct. And sometimes we're just not informed on a particular subject matter. But uh, nonetheless, that is the way to conduct uh, a conversation about the world, I think. You're not going to see this in the light of the Jordan Peterson cult. Uh, it's Like I said, it's not that he's mostly wrong. I think he's mostly right. But the inability of his acolytes to see him in any critical light whatsoever. I mean, whole channels have cropped up, dedicated them, dedicating themselves to self-improvement in the name of the, the hallowed Jordan Peterson, which I think is a bit weird, or not so weird, depending on how you look at it. It's weird to me because I would never do that, and I would never endorse that sort of behavior. I'm just, you know, I'm just an average person making average videos here. Um, but Peterson, he's uh, really just sort of taken off. And for someone interested in, in allegory and myth, I, uh, I find it curious that he himself has not really caught on to this and, and thought to himself, hmm, guys, you should be addressing things critically that I, that, I, that I say. Now, even Sam Harris nominally says that, you know, if I make a mistake, I want to be corrected. Sam Harris will not bend on certain issues, and I will address them shortly. But at least he has a kind of pro forma platform where he says, yeah, you know, Look, if you want to correct me, go ahead. I haven't really seen that uh, on the part of Jordan Peterson. So, now Jordan Peterson is a complicated case. I don't think he's malicious. Quite the opposite. I think he has good intentions. But we should always be wary and critical of the notion of a religion centered around the worship of a particular man. People these days are effectively rebels without a cause. There's nothing to believe in anymore. The world has been fractured, and many factions exist. And it's only natural that some people, particularly young people, would latch on to the likes of a Jordan Peterson. It makes sense. He's charismatic. He seems firmly convinced of his particular belief system. He can, you know, for example, in the talk, he can say, look, you know, scientific facts don't matter. Religious truth is higher or greater. And it's the strength of his conviction rather than the tenuous claim itself that carries weight uh, with his acolytes and followers. So anyway, I just wanted to make this video. No doubt, as I said, it's getting a lot of hate, and it will not be assessed on its merits or the accuracy of my statements, or lack thereof, but rather uh, based on the very allegiance, uh, allegiances and loyalties that I, that I call into question here in trying to evaluate and critically think about uh, certain people and certain ideas. Anyway, that is enough for now on Jordan Peterson and the problem with hero worship. I will likely be putting out some other videos in the not-too-distant future, assuming I'm alive, and you enjoy the rest of your week. Bye-bye, and take care. And, of course, may your chosen gods watch over you. If you liked this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you enjoy my content, please consider making a donation or becoming a patron. Thanks for watching.